There seems to be a direct relation between the limited work opportunities in Uganda and the number of migrants seeking work outside the country. This raises concerns about the welfare of migrant workers. There are a range of uh, uh, estimates as to how many uh, of our people are in the Middle East. Uh, they range from about 90,000 to some people saying there's 100,000 in uh, Saudi Arabia alone uh, to the uh, organization of the private employment agencies which claims that there are about 165,000. Baba na Uganda twaza gwachi mu Saudi Arabia banange tambuza video dueting nga video share This TikTok video shows a girl who claims to be in an Arab state calling out for the family of an allegedly missing or murdered girl This is a trend that has been witnessed in Uganda over the past decade with more families of migrant workers reporting cases of abuse and exploitation With the coming up with uh, uh, production of petroleum our economy will uh, somersault many times over and there will be enormous op opportunities than we can even uh, utilize coming with uh, the o oil in Uganda. There will be many industries, many side industries that will pop up, many opportunities that, uh, business opportunities will pop up and this will be able to absorb uh, Ugandans into, and will avoid them. From, uh, from having to go abroad for look for jobs. The concern is the lack of labor attaches to accredit foreign recruitment agencies, handle complaints and inspect workplaces and accommodations for migrant workers in countries like Saudi Arabia, Qatar and the United Arab Emirates. I pray that this report, when published, is widely dis disseminated and I encourage everyone to read, and, and to, to read it and appreciate it and understand migration governance dynamics, policies, and practices. Since migration has become a complex phenomenon in global affairs. The government is also urged to strengthen the existing national coordination mechanisms of migrant workers, enhance the capacity of the external employment management system to accommodate 24-hour complaints by migrant workers, and establish a consular office in every country where there is a sizable number of Ugandan migrant workers. Today essentially was to provide a policy brief so that we invite all the folks you say coming in. Minister of Internal Affairs, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Labor, I am eager and so on, so that we listen. They listen to this policy brief and then what we are going to do next is amend it, enrich it with the outcome of these discussions. It is hoped that the recommendations made by the Uganda Council on Foreign Relations and the European University Institute will be taken seriously by government and appropriate measures be put in place to ensure the welfare of migrant workers. Wadulo Makanold, UBC News, in Kampala.